Welcome to Wyoming. <laughs> we're in Cody. Cody well, Wyoming. technically we're outside Cody. We're in Buffalo Bill State Park, which yeah. is just outside of Cody. So we're between Cody and Yellowstone. We left you off last time where we were in South Dakota. Uh, loved it there, had a great time. Yeah. And so we're gonna be in Cody, Yellowstone area for the next few nights. Uh, we're actually gonna head out to Cody right now um, and go check out the historical the, town. Yeah, the town. The downtown and... area. Maybe get some pizza. Maybe, we don't know yet. <laughs> so we're just gonna kinda hang out tonight and then uh, tomorrow and the next day, that's gonna be dedicated to Yellowstone. <laughs> What'd you learn from the video? It was damn cold when they were trying to build this dam. <laughs> How big is the dam? How many contractors built the dam? Uh, 315 feet. Originally. No. 315 feet. No, no, 325. There you go. And then it was 350 years later. But it took them only five years to build the dam, which I thought was pretty impressive <laughs> for the time period. The water came, they tried to build it as high as possible. Literally, you see like that very sharp edge? Mm -hmm. It was literally 100 feet tall. It literally would cover this entire flat area. Wow. So it comes all the way around here. Uh, uh. That's cool. Ball plug. I think that's got to be a 36 inch valve. Forty-eight inch. Oh. Oh yeah. That pictures of people that get more. And there's a herd up up there, Mom. All right, we've made it to Yellowstone. We are at Yellowstone Lake, and it's windy, typical for Wyoming. And it's cool, Addie. How was the water when you touched it? Uh, a little warm. You are so full of it. So full of it. No, it was actually pretty warm. <laughs> it felt like every other mountain lake we've touched, but I bet if you're like in it for any duration of time, it's supposed to be really cold. Cause we had done some research and they said you're not supposed to swim in it or really get in it. It's too just too cold for swimming. So we next checked out Mud Volcano and Dragon's Mouth Spring. And um, while we were there, we listened to a ranger talk about the Dragon's Mouth Spring. It was pretty fun. We couldn't go all the way to the different cauldrons and geysers there because there were buffaloes warming themselves. Wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. What's happening? Now, if you look real close, you can see those horizontal lines. We know what we have, let's hold on tight. From there, we went up to the upper and lower falls, which were just stunning and really beautiful to see the Yellowstone River just like raging. You could see a rainbow in some of the falls, and it was really fun just checking out those areas. We're at the Grand View Overlook. And we took a path from the parking lot up here, and it this view is stunning. It is beautiful, beautiful, so make sure to take the path up a little bit of the ways um, to really get a nice view of it. We're like the only ones up here that took the path, so. Yeah, it's nice. And it's gorgeous, yeah. so. And we're headed to Old Faithful next, and we'll probably hit a few geysers on the way. See, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright How are you 
you like in Yellowstone? That's good. What's been your favorite part so far? Um, I think my favorite part is I'm really waiting for Old Faithful to go off, which is right behind me. All right, Addy, how about you? What's been your favorite part so far? Um, I don't know. It's sponsored by Pringles. Oh. Eating Pringles. <laughs> picnic area on our way to West Thumb and we're having dinner so we packed uh, brats and we have apples and chips and I got a, like a Nutella dinner thing and so we're having our picnic tonight uh, so far we've been able to see quite a bit on this loop uh, so far it's been about five and a half hours so after we finish eating here we're gonna head over to West Thumb and then make our way back because it's about an hour and a half drive back to Buffalo State Park. Um, Buffalo and then, Bill State Park. Thank you, Buffalo Bill. Not Buffalo State Park. <laughs> That's right, Buffalo Bill State Park. And then tomorrow we're going to uh, wake up, Bean I think Bean early, Bean. we'll see what time we get home, um, and we'll do another route. So Steve has picked like a whole nother loop, but this one we're gonna go up through Montana and then come in through the north entrance and hit the tower area. And we're possibly gonna hit Devil's Den. The road says it's closed, so we'll see if like where exactly it's closed at um, but yeah we're looking forward to it and it's been a really fun day we've got a lot of really good footage we've seen what did we see um a black bear a black bear um elk elk um tons birds. of buffalo tons of buffalo birds we finally got to see Old Faithful go off, which was really cool. It was funny because it was like teasing us. It would like bubble up and then it would stop and then it would bubble up again. Every, you could hear the crowd. Everyone's like, oh, it's starting and then nothing. Oh, it's starting and nothing. So it was pretty cool just to uh, see that and experience it. Um, so yeah, so pretty good trip so far. Also, bugs spray because we're being eaten out. There's definitely a lot of bugs, so be prepared. We'll catch up with you tomorrow on our day two of Yellowstone. We came from the Right? <laughs> it looks like a Mickey Mouse face. If you take those two dots away. Yeah. Oh, we well, you know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. Day two of heading to or spending time in Yellowstone and we're taking a different route today um, and so we're actually we're staying in Cody and so we came up north and we're driving through Shoshone National Forest and can I just say it is stunning the landscape and the different variations of the mountains and the grasses and everything is so beautiful uh, we just pulled over because I saw this uh, canyon in the background and you can hear like the rushing water and it is this is a beautiful beautiful uh drive that we're doing and um yeah really excited for this uh second day of checking out and getting into yellowstone and seeing what wyoming has to offer us
trying, we went to the Towers Junction with Devil's Fall and all that. The road is closed. So we decided to go to the Petrified Wood. We didn't realize we'd been here before until we got here and saw the valley. And we had taken a hike here seven years ago. So we're going to take the kids because, well, now they're old enough to do it. So Petrified Tree Trailhead. Addie, what'd you say about this spot? It looks like snow. Yeah, and what is it doing to your eyes? <laughs> Blinding. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? For the benefit and enjoyment of the people, Yellowstone National Park, Roosevelt Arch, that's pretty cool. We are on the north entrance. The bear that we saw, well, bears, pearl. We saw two. We saw one from like 10, 15 feet away, and the other one was pretty far away. Um, and my other one was the elk. There was a lot of elk, and they were big too. They weren't like babies, they were more grown up. We saw big buffalo herds and two bears. And that was your favorite? Yeah. Day two, Yellowstone. We are back at our campsite. Long day. Another long day. Well, <laughs> inside the park wasn't so long. No. <laughs> the drive back to the park was long. <laughs> yeah. Then on the way to Mammoth, we ran into two buffaloes. Yeah, and they actually- That crossed right in front of and us. And they were kind of like button heads a little They bit. were button heads right in front of the <laughs> truck. Well, there was some guy trying to take pictures of them that he did not like that very much. Well, and he, the guy didn't move, so the buffaloes were like hesitant on crossing. Yeah. So it was, but it was cool to have them in front of our car. It was, so yeah. Um, and we saw a ton of elk. Yeah, uh, surprisingly, we saw several elk herds. And uh, actually, after we left Yellowstone, we saw the biggest herd. Mm -hmm. We had a little bit of a drive back. Yeah, we left. So we came in the northeast entrance in through Montana side. Yeah. And then we left out the northwest entrance or north entrance. Yeah. Um, which was in Gardner, Montana. And so they actually had the Roosevelt Arch there, which I had never seen or read anything about it. So it was a beautiful archway. And we kind of, to Sorry. get back, we went up all the way in Montana and then kind of looped around. So it was kind of a long day, um, but fun. Um, what would you not do again? I wouldn't stay on the east side of Yellowstone. I don't think I'd stay in Cody again. Um, if, I'm going to caveat this, if you're going to do Yellowstone, I wouldn't stay on this side. It's like, it just takes too long to get into Yellowstone and to the actual uh, like attractions. Yeah. Um, so it was like, what roughly. It was like an hour and a half to even get in. Get to some of the sites. Yeah, and so it just was really. It just added a lot of time. Well, <laughs> kind it just of. adds to your day because you spend yeah. a lot of time in Yellowstone anyway. Driving around is a lot of windshield time, um, but when you add an extra two hours or more, just to for get driving, back, yeah, it takes a lot out. Of I mean, our drive tonight was four hours. So, I mean, that was from Gardner, Montana, all the way back to Cody, mm -hmm. not going through the park. Right. And big loop. Google told us this was the quickest way. <laughs> Are you know our love for Google. Well, our drive home last night. Was two hours. From day one was two and a half hours. Yeah, because we were at West Thumb, which is just on the west side of Lake Yellowstone. Yep. And I think it was 
It would have probably been another four hours coming back through Yellowstone. Oh, for sure. So, what was your kind of thing you wouldn't do again? Um, Stan Cody's one of them. And then, um, if you're looking for animals, do your research. Um, I think we, I, we picked a good one with Lamar Valley and kind of that Tower Junction area. Yeah, that northern. They're, because the first day, we didn't see nearly what we saw today. Right. We saw, like, a few buffalo here, a few buffalo here. In the Lamar Valley, there was, like, herds, like, packs. Of yeah. Them. Here's a herd. And they were moving around. Elks. Over. Elk. If you really want to see elk, go to Mammoth. Yeah. They actually camp out at, like, the hotels and stuff. <laughs> yeah. But... If you like to hike, find a couple of hikes. Mm -hmm. It will really break up your time, and you're probably more likely to see some more random animals in the forest. For sure. So, yeah. That's what. Yeah. Or camp out in more of an area where you're not moving it so much. Right. But overall, I think we had a really good time. It was nice to get back into Yellowstone since it's been so many years. Mm -hmm. um, I want to go back, but I want to. Um, maybe stay in Jackson and do the Tetons and go into oh, Yellowstone yeah. next time. Um, that was our big miss, I think. Is I the think Tetons. so. Yeah. Grand Tetons this time. We just ran time. out of time. <laughs> yeah. So just another another time we'll do it. Um, but tomorrow we pack up and head to Bozeman for our next stop on this tour. We don't know what's in Bozeman. Yeah, we got to research it and figure it out. <laughs> Mainly, I think it's work. I got to do some maintenance on the truck yeah. <laughs> and kind of. Tighten up some stuff around the house. You know, that boring real life stuff. The real life stuff. <laughs> so. All right. Cool. With that, we're going to leave you. Thanks for following along with us and hope you have a good one. Peace. <laughs> Wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun.